Yo guys, what's good? It's your boy Blank Online, and today I wanted to talk about whether or not Black Ops 4 deserves to be called a full Call of Duty game. If you look at the core game of Black Ops 4, one could argue that we got a whole new experience. Uh, a new game mode in Blackout, four new zombies maps, which is more than we've ever gotten in Call of Duty, and a new health system mechanic in the multiplayer that changes the way we play. But if we look deeper into the game, then we see how many things have been rehashed, re-released, and left out of the game. Take a look at Black Ops 2, a game released on the 12th of November 2012 that has more weapons, more original maps, and if you really want to reach, technically it had more zombies maps than Black Ops 4. It also had an amazing campaign that introduced the concept of player choice directing the story and for me, Black Ops 2 was the peak of the franchise. It introduced the Pick 10 system which was a staple in Call of Duty today which for its time was revolutionary. We got to fully customize our setups. If we chose some multiple attachments on our guns, then we would sacrifice an essential perk, for example cold blooded or flak jacket, that will instantly impact the way we play the game. And if we look at Black Ops 4 now, we still have the same system in place, and I'm not, like, I'm not saying for like any means it's a bad thing, I actually rather having pick 10 over the old way of creator class that we saw in Call of Duty's before Black Ops 2. And the key word I want to have here is innovation. If you look at Black Ops 2 compared to Black Ops 4, Black Ops 4, who gives a shit about what perks you're running, right? Who cares, because it doesn't affect the game. Previous Call of Duty's, if you sacrificed things in your pick 10 and you lost perks you'd notice it in game like you'd realize that you're not using this perk so you're gonna die to explosions quicker and you're gonna be seen in uavs and stuff now now in black ops 4 it doesn't matter if you're running cold-blooded you're still gonna be seen by your attack helicopters and your strike teams and everything it doesn't matter in this game and again innovation <laughs> These developers now have three years to work on their next game and yet we're getting less and less content. Every year more is being stripped out and being used as pre-order bonuses, future DLC, dr supply drop weapons, etc. Now again, take a look at Black Ops 2 compared to Black Ops 4. These games are six years apart, a whole generation of consoles apart and yet in a day of age where technology is far more advanced than what we had before we have less in our games. You could argue that Black Ops 4 has way more content than any other Call of Duty game before and to an extent I agree with you. I think with the addition of Blackout we got a mode so green in scale that it may have been hard for Trek to fit more in multiplayer. And I think that with the amount that got put into Blackout and Zombies this year, multiplayer is where it all slacked off which is a crime to me. Ignoring what made this series great and focusing on a mode that looks to grab cash from the battle royale trend and with all due respect to a mode that started off as an easter egg in World at War is a crime. Look at multiplayer, yes we got a new system in place with the health, but what else is different from Black Ops 3? We have mostly the same specialists as we did in Black Ops 3. Some of them have new abilities and yes some of them are new, but the majority of them are the same. Some of them are just reskins of previous Black Ops 3 specialists. Look at Recon, it's just Outrider without the bow. We have the same amount of launch maps as Black Ops 2 had, 14, but 4 of the maps we have in Black Ops 4 are re-releases of previous Call of Duty maps that were also re-released in Black Ops 3 as a pre-order bonus for pre-ordering Black Ops 4. So really, we got 4 old maps that we already got as pre-order bonuses just put into this game because the developers got too lazy to make another 4 original maps. Imagine if this game launched with 18 maps, 14 original, 4 of those old ones, that would be completely fine. But the fact that Treyarch got so lazy that they only produced 10 original maps and then just re-released these 4 maps again. The amount of weapons we have in this game is scandalous. Black Ops 2 had 15 secondaries, 24 primaries, and that amount of weapons is still nothing compared to what we had in Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, we had 33 primaries and 16 secondaries. You want to know how much we have in Black Ops 4? 20 primaries and 7 secondaries. There were more weapons in a game released in 2011 and 2012 than in a game released in 2018. 
Now I get it. A lot of the developers' time was taken to develop Blackout. Take out Fortnite and PUBG and take the crown for the best battle royale game. But when you get to a point where you take out the campaign, which was the best part of Black Ops of the Black Ops games, besides Black Ops 3, and completely undercut the gamer that made the franchise as popular as it is, and to then purely focus on tweaking and updating Blackout and Zombies with little to no attention to the actual issues that plague the multiplayer makes me sick. I'm gonna say something that may get me a lot of hate, but fuck Blackout, that shit's so boring. I drop into a match, loot for 5 years, and then when I find people, I may kill one of them, but then as soon as that happens, I get sniped. I get that gaming is taking a massive swing to Battle Royale, I really do. I was on the Fortnite hype train as a lot of you guys were too. This channel was meant to be a Fortnite channel, till my interest in that game fast as the Flash. And don't get me wrong, I'm still interested in Black Ops 4, it's still one of the only games that I play because I'm a diehard Call of Duty fan and I always will be. But it's so obvious to the hardcore fans like myself who's been playing ever since Modern Warfare 2 and some of us even before that, to us who only play multiplayer, like the die-hard multiplayer fans, it's so obvious that the development and the continued support of this game will focus on Blackout and not multiplayer and zombies. We multiplayer fans got to undercut. The content in this game has been ripped out to make more room for Blackout and the all new zombies experience. We got 4 maps that we already paid for in previous years and also got in Black Ops 3 for pre-ordering this one. Specialists that are recycled from Black Ops 3, less weapons than games released in the last generation of consoles and an unpolished, broken mess of a multiplayer game mode that we all paid good money for. I got this game in good faith, I believe that Triarch had something good here. I thought having basically 3 multiplayer modes would make for a fun social experience that revitalizes what makes Call of Duty so great in the past. But what we got was a polished blackout mode to grab the cash, and a multiplayer and zombies experience filled with bugs, issues and crashes that say to me that we're never gonna get back to the glory days. Yes I know that issues and bugs will always be there, no game is perfect, but at least we got at least the old shit had actual new content in their games. It was worth paying the money we, and we got what we paid for. With Black Ops 4 I don't feel like we got what we paid for, one month in we're still talking about the same issues, therefore furthering my point that Black Ops 4 is not a full Call of Duty game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, do you agree or do you disagree with what I've been saying? If you like this, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new and click the bell for alerts on what, when I post for my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.